Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, dogs and cats, and welcome back to Calm Down to Level Up, and today we are here again, Hearts of Iron 4, the USA States mod AI only battle. Holy shit, look at this. Connecticut, trying their best, uh, but losing. So, um, Connecticut, as we saw last episode, decided it wanted to invade the New Hampshire Empire, but that basically just gave New Hampshire another uh, reason to expand. Um, of course, Connecticut being one of the last uh, socialist strongholds in the United States, um, Connecticut being one of the most powerful uh, uh, fascist states in the country, and they actually have a pretty big faction as well um, that includes Maine, um, all of their Quebec territory, and um, all their Massachusetts territory. So, um, New Hampshire, not uh, a country to be underestimated, um, but Connecticut down here really just exhausting all of their manpower. If we check the um, the war here, it's really bad for them. They've lost 315,000. Um, New Hampshire's only lost 892 people. Maine is the one that's losing all their troops, though. It looks like Maine's really throwing in their men against uh, the Socialist Republic of Connecticut. They've lost 44,000 people. Rhode Island has lost um, 1,000, and actually they've capitulated, so Connecticut was able to actually launch straight into Rhode Island, capture their capital of Providence, I think? Yep, and um, they capitulated instantly. So um, having Rhode Island in their faction wasn't, uh, I mean, it was not, not that it was a bad idea. Actually, they've gotten good at territory, but it wasn't really that Rhode Island themselves were going to help Connecticut that, that much. But anyways, welcome back, guys. Uh, there's a little war going on another. That will not last very much longer. I'm watching as Connecticut right now, and you can just see their manpower dropping so fast. It's going down like a 1,000 every few seconds, so... Um, they're not going to last very long, um, but basically, last episode, we saw Pennsylvania really um, show its colors, I guess, is what you would call, and um, actually, they're still not done yet, they're still um, going to war, they're pushing these other fascists out of uh, South Dakota, and they're going to probably be pushing into Montana, because they're at war with this faction up here, which consists of all this. Oh shit, look at that, yep, they just gave up, New Hampshire took three states. Connecticut was annexed. They gave up because they just lost so much, so much men. Um, but yeah, so that gave. Oh shit! Look at this. Why would they do that? Why would they give Maine that territory? That's pretty ridiculous because that splits New Hampshire in half. Wow. Uh, I would take that back, dude. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Uh, Prince Edward. Oh shit! Look, Pr uh, Edward's commune. Jeez. So this little country right here is actually a whole. It's a whole thing. It's a whole. It's a whole thing in itself. What the hell? It's its own country. That little island. And it's socialist. It's one of the last two. Northern Commune and that country are the last... Or Edwards Island or whatever it's called. The last socialist countries in America. Jeez. Isn't that crazy, guys? Actually, there might... I mean, there might be, like, one that I missed somewhere that's just, like, hiding. Not doing any wars or anything. Um, but, yeah. So, basically, um, the fascists have pretty much put all the socialists to extinction... Um, and now all we have left is basically just a lot of democratic states that d wanted to stay democratic and they didn't want to expand or anything and, uh, nothing's really going to happen with them because they don't want to attack. And I don't think the, f the fascists are going to want to attack them either. Um, like right here, we have the state of Illinois, um, completely surrounded by Pennsylvania and Pennsylvania would destroy them if they went to war with them, but they're just not declaring war on them because they feel like they don't need to or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. So, Pennsylvania, super good. Um, Florida kind of deserves more credit than it's getting right now because Florida was really the only... They, they basically came up here and they saved uh, Pennsylvania from being killed. P Florida moved up and they fought Virginia so that Virginia would not crush uh, P Pennsylvania. Sorry, I'm stuttering on my words here a little bit. Um, and now, Pennsylvania, or I mean Florida, has been kind of become... <laughs> They've kind of just become uh, Pennsylvania's big bitch, or like little bitch down here because like uh, they've just like taken all their land. Like Florida used to have all of this uh, Tennessee territory and they used to actually have a lot of or some a little bit of the uh, old Virginia territory. And they've just given it all to Pennsylvania because Pennsylvania is, is the stronger is the alpha, <laughs> I guess. Uh, but yeah, so we saw that happen. And actually, this war is like really not much going on out here. I don't think like either country really wants to fight it. So, I don't know, I guess there's a little action going on over here right now. Um, are they, are they gonna win? Are they gonna win? It looks like they're just attacking and they're not even gonna, not even gonna take it. 
But yeah, this this is just mind-boggling right here why they would give Maine this state right here, St. Lawrence, uh, which actually includes Quebec, Quebec City, which is crazy. It's such a big city. Um, how much? How many points is it worth? It's worth 20 points. That's, that's crazy. Why would you give Maine that? I mean, they're, they're your friend, but like that splits your empire in two, and like that incompletes Quebec as well. Jeez. Let's check back on Iberia. So... What's going on in Iberia? Um, let's see. Let's watch from the fascist point of view. Looks like the Netherlands have uh, taken some land. They've taken Barcelona. They've taken this pretty much this cor corner up here that is um, pretty much the entirety of Catalonia, actually. They've pretty much taken almost all of it, a little less. Um, they're still holding on to uh, Zegroza, as I say, it, um, which is the capital right now of fascist Spain. Um, they have some coastline here. Looks like the Germans and Italians attacked the coast here, and they're pushing in a bit. Um, and so, yeah, we're still seeing quite the stalemate. I mean, the borders have changed quite a bit, but, you know, they still have about the same amount of territory. Quite a stalemate. It's pretty crazy. And actually, they're pushing back into Catalonia, and they're pushing uh, the Allies back. They've got them quite encircled, actually, which is crazy. And all these guys really, really low on health. But I kind of also want to check uh, Asia. So let's check Asia, Japan. There should be some new German troops here supporting you. They're not really pushing in to China very much. They're more, morally just like resupplying the borders and stuff. It's a little bit weird. Um, why are you guys not invading Mongolia and uh, Xinjiang? Is that how you say it? You put so many troops in the border here. Like here, here's a group of 68, 20, 26, 10. There's so many troops here and you're just gonna leave them there to do nothing. Jeez. Okay, so the Allies have recaptured some coast here, which actually cuts the axis in half on, on the peninsula. And actually, it's looking like they're going to be pushing the uh, axis completely out of uh, southern Iberia here on the coast. They're pushing down the losing territory. But up in the north, it looks like the axis might be gaining back territory. They still haven't captured Barcelona, but they've captured more than they had before. Um, let's check this war on the warp panel i guess it should be the german czech war um vichy france completely dead uh let's see how many losses has germany had almost a million how many losses has the uk had uh almost seven hundred thousand so in italy also almost a million hungary two hundred thousand that's a lot for hungary national spain two hundred twenty three thousand yep uh one hundred ninety six thousand dead ottomans that's Quite a big number for the Ottomans too. I didn't. I would thought that you know they would have stayed probably below a hundred thousand deaths, and it's still showing that um, the defenders are still winning by nineteen percent. They just need to push into Iberia, and once the Axis really start taking Iberia, if they do, uh, they will probably win. And actually, it looks like they have plans to. Uh, there's Italian plans to attack uh, from the south up into Iberia as well. So we could see some borders change here. Looks like there's been a little invasion by an Italian troop up here in the north. Um, completely surrounded by by Italian or Axis convoys, the Iberia is actually. I don't know how uh, the, the Allies are surviving here because it looks like there's just no support for Allies coming in. Which is crazy, actually. It looks like there's a bit. Yeah, there's, they're, they're, they're accessing right here. There's just These are all just convoys, so I don't think the convoys can fight each other. Oh, shit, look at that. And Germany actually has plans to invade... England. Whoa. We might see this happen. We might see them try to capture London. And that would definitely... Oh, shit. Look at this, too. Yeah, they're invading Norway, it looks like. Who's this? Neo-Ottoman Empire has a state up here in Norway. Yeah, so they are actively invading Norway, it appears. Yep, Italy has actually taken a northern uh, state up here, or most of a northern state. Or no, this is all a state right here. So they've taken a little bit of it. They've taken these northern little spots. So we're seeing a lot change still over here in the old world, over in Europe. We're seeing uh, plans for more shit to happen. Um, U.S., though, definitely calmed quite a lot. Actually, um, if you look at this, Montana. So looks like Pennsylvania is starting to win this war. It's not really a stalemate anymore. They're pushing into Montana now, um, and they'll probably get up into Alberta and northern Cascadia. I'm predicting Pennsylvania will win this fight as well. Um... Who would, who would be the only uh, person that might be able to de pe defeat Pennsylvania? Uh, I think the only faction that would be able to do that is right here. The Allied support of it includes New York, um, Ontario. 
Ontario. You guys like Ontario. So I'm going to say Ontario from now on. Ontario. This is a really Canadian way to say it. I don't know. Uh, it's just my it's just my accent, guys. Ontario. Jeez. Uh, look, these guys have huge shadows. Look at that. They go all the way across the all the way across the Great Lakes. Um, no, but uh, New York, really strong uh, democratic country. A lot of units. Uh, Ontario or Ontario, very strong. Uh, a lot of units. They could. I'd say this is this is the faction. Also Vermont as well. This is the faction that if you know Pennsylvania was going to get defeated, uh, they would have to go to war with. Um, this faction right here, the Allied support of Ontario, New York, and Vermont, that would be able to defeat Pennsylvania, but I don't think anything else really would. And actually, you know, Pennsylvania wouldn't just... Pennsylvania would definitely give them a run for the money, and there's definitely a huge chance that Pennsylvania would win that too. I'm just saying that out of anybody, this would be the country that would be able to defeat them. Because they also, remember, Pennsylvania also has the support of Lone Star Empire and Florida, so they've got a lot of support, a lot of support, and Mississippi as well. Mississippi Empire. They lost control of all of their Missouri holdings and uh, their Tennessee holdings. Mississippi used to hold all of this, but they've given it all to Pennsylvania because Pennsylvania is the, the alpha. <laughs> Pennsylvania is the alpha country in the faction, it appears. How's the attack into Norway going? Pretty good, actually. German Reich now landing in the south. In the south. I said that weird, I'm sorry. Um, and Italians pushing in the north actually it looks like Nor the norway has the norway what is i keep messing up with words here i'm sorry looks like norway is um getting pushed back a little bit by these norwegians up here but over here in the in the south of norway it looks like germany is attacking pretty well and remember they still have plans to attack into dover and london and shit so we might see that happen uh and uh these islands around here which what's this island called again it's like something weird i, I can't remember all right, still looks pretty much the same. Netherlands still holding on to, so allies still holding on to Catalonia. They almost got pushed out of Catalonia for a little bit there, but looks like they regained control of it. Um, they still have coastline here, and they have a little bit down in the south. Do they have that little spot in the north? No, they lost that. <laughs> um, Nationalist Spain, though they're having a lot of trouble, obviously, in their mainlands, they are doing good in Africa, I think. Actually, it looks like um, the UK has pushed them out of Western Sahara, which is right here. Uh, Spain used to hold that. And it looks like the one area that England is doing good in is Africa, because they're holding on to this giant piece of Africa that they had. The German Reich has not taken it yet, which is good for them. They need to hold on to that if they want to have any chance in Africa. And Italy needs to push England out of here. They just need to hold on to all this. England has probably has some D-Day plans as well. It looks like they've got um, plan to attack Hamburg. Is that is that Hamburg? Yep. They have a plan to attack into Hamburg. They also have a plan to attack. Um, what is this this area called again? This area is called Brittany. They have a plan to attack Brittany. It appears, um, and of course their plans over here in Iberia. I don't know. Going 50-50. Looks like. The Allies are trying to connect this as hard as they can. Uh, or, I mean, the Axis. They're trying to connect this piece to this piece so that they can support. But I don't think it's going to happen. I think the Allies are really going to hold on to that as strong as they can. Let's check over here again. Um, Montana Empire actually has gained back control of this. So, um, Montana now is... I think it's in the same faction as, uh, as Pennsylvania. Yep, it is. So, Montana is back and it's taking its old territory back from... From Alberta and the North Cascadia, which is really cool. Oh, actually, it looks like Axis really trying to connect these two spots. They're actually pushing pretty hard too. Um, I don't know. They might cut them off here. They might ca they might capture it. If they do, that's a really good sign for the Axis. And the Axis is almost retaken um, Catalonia. Even though last time they almost retook Catalonia, they lost it all back again. But. Um, I don't know. They pushed. They pushed them all the way back to Barcelona, and they've. They only have a couple tiles outside of Barcelona, and they're looking pretty heavily outnumbered. It appears too. Uh, Allies losing a lot of territory, um, which is pretty crazy, actually. I thought the Allies were really going to hold on to this, but I don't know. They're g being pushed back. They have not been able to push the Axis out of this uh, coastline right here, and the coastline is about to connect to the Axis territory up here too, unless. The Axis are able to, or the Allies are actually able to hold on to that. So um, we're gonna have to watch out for that. 
No one has actually landed on each on each other yet. Um, actually, Britain's trying to attack into Amsterdam, it appears, which is kind of funny. Uh, Norway losing the war, uh, the Ottoman Empire and Germany both attacking into Norway, which is kind of cool. I didn't think that the Ottoman Empire out of all would be attacking that and holding territory. But I don't think the Ottoman Empire will actually, you know, get any this Norwegian territory. Um, but just because Germany wants to take it all, so Germany, Germany will take it. <laughs> it wouldn't make sense for the Ottoman Empire to control Norway. That'd be that'd be weird. Montana pushing all the way back into Montana. Uh, they've got about a fourth of the state back. Um, they have to take out this northern Cascadia and Alberta still. This is going to be a slow war just because, you know, this is a big, vast empty nothingness um and they both have big armies so it'll be a slow war um it'll be like i don't know it's just gonna be slow and it's gonna be draw drawing and there's gonna be like almost no deaths on both sides i think um so it's what is this the cascanian montana war i think that's it uh alberta 135,000 deaths northern cascadia 101,000 deaths florida 216,000. pennsylvania actually losing quite a lot of men with 346,000 deaths. Holy shit. How many... How much manpower? Okay, well, they have 1.59 million manpower right now. Which is crazy. Mississippi, 76,000 deaths. Uh, 67,000 dead Venezuelans. 19,000 dead Montanans. Would, they have still completely capitulated just because they haven't captured their state back. But this will start dropping and they will uncapitulate, I think. That's how it works. Only 60 dead uh, Texans. 60 people. <laughs> Uh, 6,000 dead Virginians, which kind of makes sense because Virginia is pretty small now. Virginia got put in its place <laughs> pretty hard, you know. I guess they still hold on to this for some reason, which they shouldn't be. They should, mon or, come on, Pennsylvania, just take this back from them, okay? Jeez, maybe just make them just this one state down here. Take this one back, too, or take this state back, too. Jeez. All right, news on the Iberian Peninsula. Uh, the Netherlands has been completely pushed out of Barcelona. Uh, they've lost Barcelona, and it looks like the fascists are making uh, territory moves into the Allied territories. Uh, this is still going to take a long time. It's going to be crazy, a long drawn-out war. Japan, still nothing really has changed. Like They're mostly just reinforcing stuff, and it's a bit weird. Independent Korea government. That's cool. <laughs> Jeez. Japan, come on, just push into it. Push into China and do your do your thing. Uh, what are the what are the casualties like? Have they changed much? Actually, no, they really haven't. I don't think there's been like any fighting, which is a bit odd. Why hasn't there been any fighting? Oh shit! Does China is China gonna invade British Raj? Whoa, this is weird. Okay, so we're seeing China has plans to actually invade the Allies. So China not seeking help from the Allies, but actually. Wanting to attack them and uh, take some of their land. Myanmar would kind of make sense to take because uh, Myanmar has a lot of, I guess, is Myanmar Buddhist or is it pretty Muslim? I, I don't know. I think Myanmar has both, both uh, Buddhism and Muslim in, Muslims in it. But um, that would kind of make sense for China to try to take it, I guess. Sort of, maybe. Um, but that is going to be weird. I don't think China would be able to win that. They, I think they would be able to push in quite a bit, but... I don't think they'd be able to really defeat British Raj. You know, they might take some of Myanmar. Like, this kind of makes sense of what they're trying to take. But I don't think they'd actually be able to defeat the whole country. Unless, you know, England really gets, like, landed in and taken over or something. Allies still somehow holding on to this tiny piece connecting uh, or dis from disconnecting the two Axis parts. Um, the Axis, though... They're taking more and more coastline, and they're pushing in farther, too. So once they retake Madrid, this is going to be good for, for fascist Spain. Uh, fascist Spain really demoralized, though, I would assume. Just, like, um, so many deaths, so many dead people, so much war, and their whole country is just, like, destroyed. Still going 19% of the defenders, though, um, which is the same as what it said last time. I don't know. I, don't, I would say that it might be going towards the uh, offenders at this point. Um, in my opinion, I don't know. They'd have to lose a lot of Spain in order to, you know, show up on the scoreboard that they're actually losing now. But, oh shit, there's a little little, little battle going on here. Looks like the British took out some Italian convoys or something. 
And Norway, whoa shit, they still have control of Oslo actually. Well, maybe not, They're, they might lose it just in a second here. Norway, barely holding on here. They've lost a lot of their coast, um, but they actually they've taken back some territory. Um, Germany used to hold a lot more of this, but now they're not. And actually, if they push Germany out of right here, Oslo would be semi-safe for a little while. Um, Italy, really having a hard time up here. <laughs> Uh, not doing that well up here in, um, in northern Norway, but uh, if if you know Germany can capture Oslo, then I think Norway will probably capitulate. And if they can capture you know the rest of this coast, where I assume there might be one or two more cities, shit. Um, and yeah, so there's some docks and stuff. They just need to capture this stuff. Oh shit, there's a little naval battle happening here. What? What just got sunk? Oh, it was a it was a it was a Norwegian ship just got sunk underwater. Rest in peace, Norwegian ship. You can still see it under there. That's, kind of, that's cool. So yeah, there appears to be a, a large German fleet here um, in this water that's sinking pretty much everything that uh, Norway puts in those puts in these waters. I think once Oslo falls, let's check uh, Norway's capitulation. Actually, Norway, where are you? Norway is thirty-one percent towards capitulation. Once they lose their capital, what? How much is Oslo worth? I won't tell me right here. Jeez. Well, I assume Oslo's worth like 20 points, so... They might not capitulate instantly, but they'll capitulate pretty fast afterwards. Well, what's going on here? Okay. So, we're seeing the socialist... Oh, Newfoundland, too. Also socialist. Okay, I didn't realize that. So, Newfoundland has plans, I guess, to invade something. Who are they at war with? Are they at war with anyone? They're not at war with anyone. They're kind of friends with Paraguay for some reason. Is Paraguay kind of socialist? Paraguay is socialist. Okay. That's weird. Um, so, apparently they have plans to, like, attack something. Or the UK has plans to attack them or something like that. Well, I'm going to have to end this one here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this, make sure to leave a like and a favorite and a subscribe if you are new. And I will see you guys all next time uh, when the Iberian War continues to roar. Jeez, they haven't even connected this yet. Still. Jeez. Um, all right. Peace. Peace.